As you can see, I'm wearing two very similar looks. Only one totals in at 151 pounds, while the other is 2,190. In the comments, tell me which you think is which. You have 10 seconds. Time's up. Before I tell you where everything came from, how much it was and what you get for your money, I want to start with the moral of this story. Now clearly, I've picked two looks that look very similar but have a massive difference between them. In fact, there's 2,039 pounds difference. Now, I'm assuming that your budget will fall somewhere between those two things. Obviously, both high-end and high street have their issues. High-end is often very expensive, which just alienates a bunch of people. Whereas, high street tends to encourage fast fashion, where people buy something, wear it once or twice, and then dispose of it. Great, cool, easy for you, but actually terrible for the environment and also the people who make these clothes tend to work in awful conditions for unfair wages. As we all know, it's not totally black and white. There are some high street brands that are actually really ethical and produce responsibly, and some high-end ones that totally don't as well. My point is, you may have £150 to spend, or you may have £2,000 knocking around. Either way, it's important to invest in the best you can comfortably afford. Invest being the key word here. Think of style over fashion. Fashion comes and goes, but style is permanent. Whatever you buy now, think of it as an investment, and if you treat it right, it'll be with you for many years to come. And if you pair it with different things, you can get a bunch of outfits out of it. This season, there's a very strong American influence coming through. It doesn't get much more American than a varsity jacket like this one. This one comes from Bali in collaboration with Swizz Beats, and it costs £995. The body is wool and the arms are leather, and it has elasticated cuffs on the wrist and the waist. The design on the front and the back is embroidered, and honestly, the attention to detail and the feeling of quality is very, very special. It is quite loud and proud, but because it's burgundy, actually, it's really easy to wear. This plain t-shirt is from American Vintage, and it's £45, and actually, you can spend a lot more than £45 on a plain white t-shirt, but I don't really see why you would. It's 100% cotton, it fits really well, and there's literally nothing more to say about it than that. I love these trousers. They're from Brunello Cuccinelli, and they were £560. Uh, they fit amazingly. They're 100% wool. Uh, they're made in Italy, and they're pleated at the front. Now, I have to say, when it comes to grey trousers, Personally, I think it's worth getting the best you can because I wear them all the time and they're so easy. They go with most things um, and they can go smart or casual. Whatever you do though, make sure you get them altered because you can get a pair for 560 pounds like these, but if they don't fit quite right, then it's totally not worth it. I've had these altered in the leg and also taken up at the uh, bottom here with a turn up added. These trainers, I believe, are the most expensive trainers I've ever worn on my feet. They are 590 pounds, also from Brunello Cuccinelli, the same place as the trousers. And the quality of all Brunello stuff is amazing. They are camel suede with also camel leather and uh, gray leather at the back and they're beautiful, but you wear them on your feet and inevitably they will get dirty. You can't avoid that. This version comes from Top Man and it's 35 pounds. Now the entire thing is jersey, both the body and the arms, which is less traditional for a varsity, but it still maintains that classic look. It looks very sort of American football type thing. There's nothing on the back, as you can see, um, and the logo on the front here is stitched on, but the olive green color is super easy to wear. This white t-shirt here actually comes from Marks and Spencer's. It's 15 pounds and it's from David Gandhi's collection. It's super soft. I have a few of these because they're so comfortable. I guess technically it's more of an underwear t-shirt, but I usually use it as a base for when I'm layering and it feels so nice on my skin. These grey trousers are from Selected Hom. I actually got them from the ASOS website and they were £60. They're mostly cotton with a bit of elastin in them again for extra comfort. But again, grey trousers are such a staple. If, you're, if you've got £60, buy a pair that are nice and then take them to the alteration place and get them altered so they fit exactly right. But for 60 quid, these are really good. This pair here are from uh, Pier 1. I got them from the ASOS website and they're £41. They don't have quite the same leather accents as the Brunello Cuccinelli ones, but at 41 quid, I'm not going to be totally heartbroken when I walk in the puddle. Well, that is the end of this video. I really hope you liked it. It's kind of a new one for me, so if you did like it, let me know by uh, giving it a thumbs up or leaving a comment down below. Thank you very much for watching uh, and have a really good day. Bye.